Welcome to one of the most underutilized places at Walt Disney World that I wish they would just demolish. This is ESPN's Wide World of Sports, and we're not here to play sports. We're here for the annual Passover special merchandise event. So they're holding a great merchandise event right here that is going to have insane sales on some Disney merchandise. 60% plus off of like lounge flies and Dooney and Burke and merchandise and plushes and everything else in the world. So we're going to go inside. I think our number just got called. So we're going to head inside, go check out what some of the merch is and see if I can get myself new shirts, maybe some shorts. I don't know why I wore sweat shorts today or sweat pants. It is hot. I underestimated it. I don't know. Let's go inside. So I'm going to talk while I'm walking up. It's going to get loud. Hopefully uh, I don't get copyrighted because this music. So I'm going to talk as loud as I can because Disney has their music playing all over the place. But um, this, so the special ticketed event is just for annual pass holders and it goes today through September 24th. Today is the 20th. So this is an event, if you are an annual pass holder in the area or coming down here, definitely come check this out because you are gonna be able to get some insane merchandise at extreme discounted rates. Let's go officially check out what they have. So they're finally letting us in the horde. There is so many people. So one of the problems that we just had was is that they had capacity inside. So basically all the previous groups that went inside shopping basically have not come out yet. So they had nowhere to put us. So they've been basically reorganizing the inside of the arena here to funnel people in so we can get out of the heat and into air conditioning because y'all it is hot. Way too hot. Like I said, they, they decided to reorganize everyone. They opened up the upper concourse area so they can funnel people in and kind of get them out of the heat because it's becoming brutally, brutally hot outside. So I did get a glimpse inside and this event is massive. I can't wait to show you all of the merchandise. It is so, so impressive. So while we're waiting, I wanted to give you guys a glimpse of the massive, <laughs> like look at the size of this building. This is crazy insane. I can't wait to get down there and actually show you guys some of the merchandise. Let's go, my line's moving. So a little bit of a tidbit for you. If you guys are coming to this event, make sure that your number or your, your actual number has been called. So there's a lot of people that are in line currently that just, they haven't had their number called and they're just holding up the line. So if you guys are coming to this event, do not come in unless they actually have called your number because they will not let you in. They will turn you away. So that's just a little quick note. We're still waiting in line. I think this is a I think this is a longer line than like Tron or anything. This is this is probably the longest queue line we'll wait in like the next two days. Like hands down. I will not do <laughs> I will not wait in a line longer than this for anything else. Other than merch. <laughs> Anyways, we'll see you in And we are in. Holy moly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Look at the size of this room. This has to be like overwhelming. Wow. So let's go, I'm gonna go take a look real quick and then kind of show you some fun things. There's so much to look at here. So much to absolutely look at. So let's go check out some of the items that are here and let's shop. So first item I came across, it's actually really discounted, is this 50th anniversary tumbler. Looks like a really awesome tumbler. We saw these in the parks. Normally $27.99. It's actually discounted down to $7.99. So if you're someone who's into tumblers uh, and you and you like the 50th anniversary, this is definitely the place to be. And let me tell you, this is gonna be so hard to speak in here. It is loud, loud as can be. Like insanely loud. And a content creator's nightmare with all this Disney music playing, but Coming across to another one, we saw this castle throw a lot in the parks. 
This is the 50th anniversary castle throw. Normally $75. They have it marked down to $26.99. This is a great throw. And they don't have a large version of it, but if you haven't seen it, actually, there you go. So it just has the castle and then it has Walt and Mickey on it. So much stuff. I am overwhelmed. This is not a good place for somebody with ADHD. I am like overloaded. Holy moly. So I did notice they actually have everything sectioned off into different areas like home decor, um, like plushes, stuffed animals, everything like that. So we are actually in the home decor section, which makes sense why there's throw rugs and towels and all that other type of stuff. So um, we're going to kind of see what they have. They have a lot of food and wine stuff and just a lot of wine glasses and mugs. And um, I actually just saw a water bottle I bought like only like a month and a half ago that is like $10 cheaper. So that stinks. I guess I should have waited. But <laughs> yeah, they still, so they have it all sectioned off into like different areas. So the next area we have is like headwear and accessories, which I'm actually in the market for a new hat. Uh, so maybe that'll be a place and then uh, some more stuff. So guys, this is just insanely overwhelming. So overwhelming. Wow. So to stay in the uh, throw blanket world, they do have a couple different throws. They have a Doctor Strange clock throw, which I'm trying to get a, uh, oh, cloak. I thought I said clock, it's cloak. So it's literally his cloak. That is really cool. It's like a Disney Snuggie almost. And then they also have these uh, frozen uh, Brittany Lee throws. And Brittany Lee is the artist that does this type of like artist renderings. And the throw itself, Wow, it got really dark in here. The throw itself just has Anna and Elsa in Brittany Lee's classic style. And that's actually $22.50, originally $74.99. So again, really great price if you're someone who loves throws. And then the coffee mug freaks like me, they do have your coffee mugs as well. This one is from Food and Wine Festival of 2022, and those are down to $5.99. One thing I'm noticing is that actually the prices in here are not that different from Character Warehouse. Character Warehouse does have very similar prices because a lot of these items that are here are at the Character Warehouse, like this like Seasons one. So the prices are pretty much in that same realm. The, the bowls are like $14.99, I think, which is fairly close to there. But I'm sure they're going to have some deals here that are way better than you're going to get at Character Warehouse. And I'm here to find them. So let's find these deals. Hey, Dooney. So they do have some Dooney and Burke here. This is the first one I came across. This is a Moana uh, Dooney and Burke. It looks like a kind of a giant cinch bag. So it doesn't really close up too much. These are $119. And they are limit two. The original price on these are $228. So that's the first Dooneyberg. There are a bunch more over there, but I just want to keep making my way this way because I just want to see what else they have and I don't want to miss anything. So I'm going to kind of keep staying in this line and kind of just see where it actually brings me. Hopefully a sale. I haven't put anything in my bag yet. So I'm kind of disappointed right now, but I also haven't got to my stuff yet. I'm not a huge home decor person, so once I get to like the hats and everything, I'm sure I'll be uh, buying some stuff. I Trader Sam's fans, if you love Trader Sam's, whether it's over at Disneyland or at Walt Disney World, the Polynesian, they do have some Trader Sam's merch, and this is a really good price. So this is a Trader Sam's chip and dip set. So you got your chip bowl and then you got a dip bowl here. And that is on sale down to $20 from 50. That is an insane deal, $30 off of this, and it is heavy, guys. It is absolutely heavy. So this is a really good find if you're someone who entertains a lot. Um, I don't entertain, I, I like to go out, so I don't have a need for it, it'll just collect dust, but if you do like to entertain, that is a really awesome, awesome piece. And it's only 20 bucks, that's such a good deal. All right, so I told you there's more Dooney and Burke, and there is. So there's another Moana Dooney and Burke. This is like an actual backpack, a little smaller version of it, definitely smaller than a lounge fly. And this is a really, really nice Dooney and Burke, by the way. These are also all limit two. So if you are coming, you only could get two of each bag. And that's basically to prevent people from reselling it, because um, you have those people that will come out here and resell it. Because this is originally 268 down to 107. So if you're into Dooney and Burke, that's what it is, but just be in mind there's limit two, so you can't resell them. 
um, in mass production. They also have an 85th anniversary Snow White Dooney and Burke, which this one's really cool because I'm actually into this artwork a lot. Um, this stuff is like, I, I don't know. I just, I really love it. This stuff is the, I don't know what the style is, like the, the artist, but I love the artwork on these. And Disney has done a bunch of these before. Here, let me grab this one for you so you guys can see it. But that is amazing. And that is actually priced down to $84 from $248. So $200 off of that bag. That is probably one of the best bag deals I've seen so far. So if you guys are into Snow White, definitely check that out. All right, we do have a couple of Disney Cruise Line bags as well from Dooney and Burke. This first one here is the Wish Inaugural, which is priced down to $131 from $328. And you guys, this is a massive bag. Like this is an absolutely huge bag. And I don't know, it's hard to see because of the plastic, but you do have Mickey Mouse there and you do actually have the Disney Wish logo. This is a really great piece, also really well priced. That is a lot of money off of it. And then the other one is this DL or DCL Life on Deck Junior Burke. It's a smaller version, smaller bag, easy to kind of clutch. And it's got Mickey and Minnie and Goofy just kind of hanging out in the sun. And this one's priced down to $98.99 from $248. So again, another amazing, amazing steal. And then why we kind of go down, you basically have some more Alice in Wonderland stuff. You have the Raining Rabbits, Dooney and Burke Satchel, which is $119 down from $300. And you have the Princess Dooney and Burke Satchel. I've seen this in uh, parks before, and I think I might have seen this as well in uh, Character Warehouse. I'm not quite sure, but that does look familiar. Uh, this one here is $107 marked down from 268 so they got some amazing prices on bags. The thoughts I have of it is that we've kind of been around here for I don't know maybe 10 minutes and honestly like there is a lot of great stuff here but the discounts aren't as like impressive as like I thought they would be and I know that sounds like weird but Character Warehouse has a, like it's basically the same price now the only difference is they have so much more merchandise here than Character Warehouse so if you're looking for things that Character Warehouse doesn't have, this is probably where you're going to find them. And a ton of clothing as well, by the way. So that's really that's really what we're looking for. You could have missed Star Wars one. That is cool. So for $24.99, you can have this Star Wars sweatshirt, which is really awesome. Now, this is definitely not a Florida material. The material on the inside is super fuzzy and super warm. So if you live here in Florida, you're most likely not going to be wearing this sweatshirt anytime soon, but it is a really awesome piece. And like I said, I think it's 24, yeah, 24.99. So, but they got a lot of cool stuff. Like these are actually old. I've seen these everywhere. They have these at the Character Warehouse, and I want to say they're almost cheaper, but I'm not sure. Thank you. So it got extremely loud in there, and a lot of copyrighted music. So I am doing a voiceover. They had a lot of other things, including these spirit jerseys from the 50th anniversary, which were really awesome. This Epcot shirt, though, however, was amazing. It was a button-down, almost kind of like a retro 70s bowling shirt that had the design of Spaceship Earth on it. It was $12.99, which is a great price for this button-down shirt. And it was very, it was pretty thin, so you can wear this probably at some night times in Florida. Really good product. Um, I liked it a lot, especially because of the retro throwback feel. This marble zip up though, however, was amazing. This is from 2022's Halloween collection. It has different skulls and candies on it. And it was just really, really, really cool. Um, I could not find a price on it. So I don't know what the sale price was, but it probably was fairly cheap because the starting price wasn't bad either. And if you wanted to ever know where Disney gets all their stuff from, here is where it's shipped from in China. So there it is, just so you guys know. I don't know. I thought it was a fun fact. Now, this cup, though, however, was absolutely insane. This was a tumbler with literally some of the most classic characters that you can get from 19, like Disney's 1990s cartoons. It was incredible, and I'm really mad that I did not pick it up because it was so cool. And it was only $9. So I do still have a few more days left of this event, so I may actually go get a virtual queue and maybe try to go pick this up again uh, or have someone pick it up for me that's going. This is a really cool piece from the Toy Story Summer Collection. I actually never saw this inside the park, so I, I don't know where this was hiding, but this is part of the Summer Collection, and it was a really awesome blanket that you can zip up and take with you. Great thing if you wanted to have like a picnic somewhere. Again, I cannot find a price on this at all, so I don't know exactly how much it was, 
but it was a really cool piece nonetheless. If you're a Tiana fan, which a lot of people are, and especially with the ride opening, they had some really great Tiana merchandise, including this cake stand that was marked down to $13 from $32.50, had Tiana on it, talking about making beignets and the ingredients. Now, they had tons of them, so this is a product that's not gonna run out. All those boxes are this Tiana plate. By the way, that's not the recipe for beignets, so keep that in mind. Pizza fans, though, this was awesome. This is the Toy Story Pizza Planet platter. So if you had friends over and you wanted to put, uh, put some pizza, this is the this is the serving dish. It came with a little spatula that had the um, aliens on it. Just super cool piece. Um, just it, I don't know I don't I don't really know why I love it so much, but it truly was a great great pizza, especially if you like Pizza Planet. And I, I'm a big Pizza Planet Toy Story fan. If you want to look like David S. Pumpkins, they also have these really amazing jackets. And they do have one with Jack Skellington and Oogie Boogie and Zero on it as well. The only, down, the only downside of these jackets is, well, the bright side is that they're $20 from $70, which is a great price. The downside is that they are extremely warm. They don't breathe. So it's not one of those things you're going to wear to a not-so-scary Halloween party. So if you live in the north and you're cold, this would be a great piece for you. But if you live in the south like we do, skip it. The Oswald blanket was really cool, especially because Oswald is a big part of the 100th anniversary, including the brand new pass holder magnet that's coming out this week as well. So stay tuned for that. You can pick that up at Epcot. But this throw blanket was fantastic. This is another item that I cannot find the price anywhere. It wasn't listed. It wasn't on the box. I don't know. Uh, the Star Wars fans, though, this is one of the coolest pieces of the whole event, I think. They had two different types of lightsabers. And these these are really expensive, by the way. When you buy them in Galaxy's Edge, these are extremely expensive. And they have these marked down so cheap. Uh, and I'm talking about, like I said, I think this one here, which, by the way, this is super heavy, weighed about maybe six or seven pounds. This was marked down to like a $100. Um, the next one, though, this one is fantastic. This was discounted down to $47.60, which is a really weird number, by the way. But it was marked down to that number from like 140 whatever dollars. This is a lot lighter than the other one, but amazing. Now, these do not come with any of the blades, so you do have to get the blades inside of Galaxy's Edge. And I almost dropped it there, so I'm glad I caught it. Great pieces. You have to buy the blades. They had tons of them. Go get them, Star Wars fans. You're welcome. All right, so that was interesting. So one thing I noticed was that was a lot of stuff they have in the character warehouse, a ton of it. So I didn't show everything. I just showed things that you normally don't see in character warehouse, but they were the same prices as character warehouse, you know? Um, honestly, it was kind of overwhelming, really overwhelming. There was just a ton of stuff and it was just extremely hard to kind of stay focused. I'm gonna show you our haul in a little bit, but I'm not gonna do that here. And also you are gonna notice there is a, there was some basically dubbing, um, some voiceover. That's because this was a copyright nightmare inside with the DJ. So let's go check out the haul and uh, see what we got. All right, so we're back at the hotel. I wanted to show you guys what we've got over at the Pass Holder Merchandise event. Um, again, the Pass Holder, it was, it was nice. There was a lot of stuff, very overwhelming, very loud. But also at the same time, a lot of the stuff they had there was at the outlets, at the character warehouse. And the prices were pretty much the exact same. So overall, was it worth it? Yes, there was a couple things that we got that were pretty awesome, which I'm going to show you right now. But overall, waiting in a hot sun and that line, I probably wouldn't do it more than once. Let me tell you that way. But let's show you some of the, some of the things we got. Harlow wants to show you what she got first. I got Isabella toy. She got an Encanto Isabella doll. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. And then they, oh, it was $9, by the way, for that Isabella. Uh, they had the Mr. Toad popcorn buckets they were selling for $5. I had to do it. Um, I mean, $5 for Mr. Toad popcorn bucket was a, uh, yeah, I, I wanted one of them. I just, I never bit the bullet, but for $5, I will definitely do that. Uh, what else we get? We also got a spirit jersey, a Christmas spirit jersey for Harlow. Twelve dollars for that. Regular was seventy-five. Casey's giving me the prices, by the way. If you don't hear, 
We also got, which this is cool. I actually looked at this and I was gonna grab it, but I was like, ah, I don't think Casey's gonna want it and found out she had it in her bag. But the Jack Skellington wreath. The best thing about this is it's good for Halloween and Christmas, which is awesome. Original price for this was $44.99 and we got it for $14. So huge deal. I like it. That's awesome. We needed something anyway, something new, something fresh. And Casey just got me a pair of shirts. Now, by the way, we didn't get a lot. I thought we were going to go in there and just come out with bags full, and we didn't. Uh, we just kind of browsed around, kind of got some necessities. Got some nice uh, little Mickey shorts, kind of gym shorts to lounge around in. $36.99 for them. Uh, deep sale price was, I don't even know. $7.99. $7.59. Now, I saved this one for last because I have been looking at this shirt, but they've never had it in my size inside the outlet malls. This is my very first spirit jersey. Look at that. This is absolutely insane. It is the original action figures of Star Wars from the 1970s. On the sleeve, it has vintage action figure written on the sleeve. What is that on the front? Oh. And then look at that. Retro Star Wars logo. This is awesome. I've been looking for it. They had a ton of them. Pretty much in sizes from small and medium. And then they had a few boxes of like large and extra large. So if you want this, get over there like probably tomorrow. Because I'm going to post this video. It will be the night that we went shopping. So get over there if you want this. Because these are absolutely insane. But whew, that was fun. Slash exhausting. Slash anxious. Anywho, if you guys want to know anything about like some of the stuff that we saw in there and you're not local and you're just kind of curious, let us know in the comments and we'll kind of answer anything for you. But if you are local and you are planning on going there, just remember there is a chance you may stand outside for a little bit. Hopefully day two, day three, they'll get it all figured out. But it was overall worth it in a sense that you can find some things that you can't normally get, but you can get them normally at Character Warehouse. Anywho, thank you for joining us on this little adventure of shopping. I am going to go swimming. We will see you guys next time. And as always, we'll see you in the parks. Bye. Bye.